So in this question we read that a basketball coach has five guards and seven forwards on his basketball team. So the first part here is how many different ways can he select a starting team of two guards and three forwards? Okay, well we're assuming that these people are kind of interchangeable here, it doesn't really matter, order's not an issue, so we just got to choose two of them. So we've got five guards and we got to choose two of them and applying multiplication, I've got seven forwards and I have to choose three of them. When you go to your calculator and multiply that all out, we'll get 350, okay, different starting teams here. Now, move to the next one. What if you have to have that star player on that, that uh, team there? Okay, well, now, and that player is from the guards here. Now, a really common mistake made here is to make this, is to make this five choose one, right? To say that that must be five choose one here because he's part of the, the group of guards here, but that's actually incorrect. The reason that's incorrect here is because five choose one is is choosing just a person from that group. Not a specific person, just any person here. Well, it's not what I want. There's one star player, I'm going to choose that star player. So one choose one. Now, once that person's been kind of removed from the, the pool that I'm, I'm choosing from, I still got four people left over in that group of guards and I still need to choose one because I still I have to have two guards there and still have to choose my three forwards from the group of seven. So choosing the star player from the group of star players, there's only one and you chose them. And then you've got four guards left over, still gotta choose one and then seven choose three, put that all together and we get that there are 140 different teams that he can put together.